Hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late night mega here. I don't like the looks of this already. It's 36th place by Aria Genisi. It's Ancient Ziggurat. Well, with an average score of 63, look who really didn't like it. Someone else really did like it. This is interesting music. It feels familiar, but I don't know what it's from. Oh, um, that was odd. Actually, is this just a remake of Venus's music? Wind Towers, I don't mind these. Okay, there's gotta be something that breaks those. Uh... I don't know, just why are they there? Just for decoration? Um, you're... the dinosaur is backwards. The stegosaurus is killing me. Why are you backwards? Alright, let's flush him out. Nothing that way. There's like so much potential for hidden paths, but we haven't really had any of that yet. Mouse on the ceiling, and an introduction to the soccer balls. I'm not a fan of the soccer ball. Oh, okay. Using a double stack like that, I haven't seen that before. Not. I don't suppose. Yeah, that's not going to work at all. I'm just going to assume I can't kill you. And we're just going to move on with our lives. I'm not a huge fan of everything happening on this screen. Okay, well, we can ignore that bubble boy up there. Okay, so, so far this stage isn't bad. Per se. I'm not supposed to try and ride those. It hasn't done anything super interesting. It's been more like, here's the gimmicks and watch me use them. I'm just using them in combination with various enemies and, you know, whatnot. The double stacks, like, just stack them on these guys. Now let's do the same thing, but let's throw a fan in here. Let's almost die due to the fan. Uh, and suddenly things have gotten very bright. Aesthetically. I want those bullets. I don't know how much I need them, but I want them. And that's all that matters.
Oh. I meant to go to the left to see if there was a secret over there, but there hasn't been, like, secrets yet. And Hornet Woman, or Fancy Woman, whatever she is. I suppose I should deal with you. Oh, come on, really? Alright, well, we know the weakness. And that was it for the stage? I mean, okay, it was combining the gimmicks. But a lot of the stuff just kind of felt like very one and done. You need to stop. Keep it quiet while I'm trying to work. This is a library. All right, ancient Ziggur. What did Parmesan really like about it? Well, he's fired anyway, so it doesn't matter. The only real complaint here is how annoying the Stegos are to fight. Yes. But, again, that's not really the fault of the person who got the box with the Stegos. I preferred them when they were used as a way to make the soccer balls continually fly up and down. That was a pretty interesting use because you just ignore trying to fight the Stego and just use it as, like, it's like a missile turret thing firing at you while you're crossing the, the thing. Let's see, the windy climbing sections were fine, but the last one felt like the first one, but a bit longer, not hard. Yeah. Shame, because there was potential. There's definitely potential, but it feels like there was a lot of stuff that just went untapped and not fully fleshed out. Ain't no rule steal saying a stegosaurus can't play football. Soccer. Fired again. I know, the rest of the world is, is football, but... Soccer, you're fired. Uh, it's worth noting that I do these levels buster only unless otherwise required, because this level uses a lot of stegosauruses. And they're all real annoying to take out with just the buster. Yes, they are. Some of them are awkward to take out even without the buster. Yes, they are. I'm thinking that one screen with all three enemy types together where it's too high up for you to easily stand next to it with a flame mixer. You can use rain flush, I guess, but that feels like cheating. I did, for the most part, enjoy that section of the level, where you had a set of rooms all one after the other, with mesubials roving the ceilings, maybe more for aesthetic reasons than for gameplay ones, as they mostly serve to tie all those challenges together. I also appreciated the secret path that you needed Rush Jet to act. Ah, darn it. And how the trouble there came from figuring out how to land on Rush with the fans pushing you away from him. But I mostly found this level frustrating. Probably due to the awkward mix of fans. The, the one place that I don't actually get the real opportunity to check for the secret like I wanted to. I got pushed up into the boss gate. It figures there was a secret there. Uh, but I mostly found this level frustrating, probably due to the awkward mix of fans that mess with your movement and enemies that shield themselves from your hits. If you want a level that's frustrating, boy do I have a stage for you! Alright, Freems. This level was very simple. Gimmick 1, Gimmick 2, and now a little of both at the same time, which is fine. And then it kind of did the same thing with the enemy. Enemy 1, Enemy 2, here's the enemies together, here's the enemies with this gimmick. Like, I, each, each screen or, or placement of those things all felt different and unique their own way, but they also all kind of felt the same. Uh, though the fans were rather standard usage. There was some creativity with stacking soccer balls and putting some of them on the dinosaur for this crazy moving platform. 
which while novel is just a little janky unfortunately. But outside of that, it was your standard fare for the most part. The mice and fevers were used well enough. Bubbles dropping on top of you while you have to deal with the mice on the ground level. Makes sense together and is cohesive. I guess the only real oddity I had was that the end tower section was very similar to the first in most regards. All about being harder to read with all the saying blue in the background, which sort of felt like an anti-climax climax at the end of the day. There are far worse oddities out there. Alright, what did you like so much about this stage? Walking away from this level, the easy highlight was the bouncing soccer balls on the Stegosaurus. The soccer balls... <laughs> see, he got soccer. The soccer balls were just great in general. I actually may like them in this level more than in Strike Man stage, not gonna lie. Either way, wonderful use of them. Also the mice. I don't think they're great in Mega Man 5, but using them as stealing enemies with the soccer balls was super clever. Props to you. The rest of the level is good, but those parts really feel like a step up. Overall the level is consistent, the theming is nice, and the stegosauruses are only a little bit annoying. Good level. I don't know, this stage didn't feel like an 86. I'd probably... I guess I agree more with PK Ouija in, in frames. I'd probably put it around like a 60. It didn't, it didn't really do much that stood out, but it didn't do anything wrong. Shut up! Pickle Man Dada. Yeah, you. Uh, didn't really do anything wrong, but... I, I don't know, it just felt kind of, like, average. Like, it feels like it shouldn't be Tier 8. Right? It feels like it should be, like, Tier 6, maybe Tier 7. Anywho, while this guy's sound effects annoy us, uh, let's take a look at what's coming up next. Oh gosh, the rolling scissor thing that I don't care for. And whatever that gimmick is. Alright, for now, I'll take my leave.